Georgia quarterback Stetson Bennett had three touchdowns in Georgia's 34-11 win against Michigan. I want to take a few minutes and break down some of Bennett's best throws of the game. There's about four or five throws I'm going to briefly go through. Not a very long video, but again, I think it was a really good game from Stetson Bennett. He was 20-30, 313 yards passing, three touchdowns, uh, yards per attempt for 10.4. I think he did a good job showcasing a stronger arm than what most people probably think. Everyone knows he's tough, but he showed that again on the national stage, uh, taking shots and delivering the ball downfield. Just coming out and playing a really, really good kind of flawless game. The only kind of uh, criticism, you, criticism you have of Bennett is the what the, at the end of the first half, kind of the time management. We saw Kirby kind of get on to Bennett. But besides that, played a really, really good game. Uh, did a good job delivering the ball downfield and getting the ball out quick to the playmakers, kind of some underneath throws. And this game was really never really in doubt after Georgia got up 14 nothing, You kind of saw how this game was going to go. But we're going to take a few minutes and look at Stetson Bennett's best throws from the game. Again, about five throws we're going to look at, and we're going to kind of dive into a little deeper detail to see what was going on. So again, Bennett, 20-30, 313 yards passing, three touchdowns, <clears throat> no interceptions. Had about 30 yards on the ground as well. Did a good job scrambling whenever he needed to, but didn't scramble nearly as much as people probably thought he was going to this game. Just did a really good job passing. So let's go ahead and dive into the film. But before we do, like always, just want to I just want to encourage y'all to consider subscribing to the channel if you like any quarterback-related content. Let's get in and watch some of the Stetson Bennett film. So here's a seam route to Brock Bowers early in the game, less than two minutes into the game. We're going to see Bennett sees Bowers get open pretty much right off the bat here. We're going to see him beat his man. Bennett steps in the pocket, takes a hit, delivers a good ball early in the game. And he had several throws very similar to this where he would take a hit, deliver a good throw. We'll go ahead and watch here. So right here, right off the bat, he has his guy beat. Bennett's dialed in right here. And we're going to see pressure come in as Bennett steps up in the pocket. Watch him take a hit, right? So he has taken that hit right there. The ball has been released. Ends up being a big play early in the game for Stetson Bennett. Uh, but this kind of set the tone, I feel like, this type of throw here because he had very... He, he, he had very similar throws uh, throughout the game. So here's Bennett's first pass, a uh, first touchdown pass of the game. Uh, just a quick dump off to Bowers. He goes in for the touchdown here. But it's the threat of the run game that really sets this up. We're going to see uh, the end, backer, both coming in uh, because of the threat of the run. That opens up Bowers being wide open here. So nothing really crazy. Kind of a simple play here, but still kind of fun to see how it's broken down. Eyes, eyes, blocking. No one out here for Bowers. Ball's dumped off. Safety can't get there in time. Touchdown. So here was a big throw uh, by Stetson Bennett with about five minutes left in the, the uh, first half. Jordan's up 17-3 here. We see Cook on the outside just running a go route. Bennett throws a great ball, hits him in stride. And this throw here from close to the left hash of the field all the way to the right side of the field, almost 50 yards in the in the air throwing to the uh, other sideline. So I think it's an impressive throw and probably show it's a good job showcasing Bennett's uh, arm strength that's probably stronger than than that we probably initially thought thought we wouldn't watch it here steps up ball's about to come out right here again remember it's from the 24 ish yard line over here that is a long throw right boom so it hits him right about the other 28 or so so almost 50 yards in the air across field as one to kind of showcase his arm strength because he probably uh deserves a bit more credit but a good throw accurate throw downfield uh showcasing good arm strength as well so here, here's Bennett's uh, second touchdown pass. And this put them, put, this put Georgia up, what, 27 to 3 here, and really put the game out of reach uh, before it was even halftime. And this was the touchdown pass through Cedar at the bottom of the screen. Remember the DB here, if you remember, kind of kind of stopped running on the play for whatever reason, kind of got confused. Uh, but let's get the focus on Bennett here. So from the left side of the field to the right side again, again, almost 50 yards in the air, similar to that last big play we saw. Comes up. Pressure in the face here, right? So throwing from his own 32-yard line with pressure in the face. Oop. I don't know what I just did. Here we go. Ball is out. Again, that's almost 50 yards in the air to the other side of the field. So great ball there by Bennett. Hits his guy in stride, even though uh, the DB kind of misplayed it. Still a good ball there for a touchdown to put them up 27-3 here before halftime. So here's Bennett's last touchdown pass. Last touchdown pass of the game. Last touchdown of the game. And last couple watch of Stetson Bennett here. But it's that touchdown pass to uh, Cook out of the backfield where he just has this wheel route here. And I don't know if you remember in, in the broadcast, uh, I think it was Kirby kind of broke it down. Uh, really good design play, which we're going to watch. But Bennett stays in the pocket, takes a hit, delivers a nice uh, touchdown pass. A lot tough, tougher than it looks when you have a guy, boom, coming in, crushing you uh, before you throw it to a wide open receiver for a touchdown. We'll watch the behind the center angle too, 
uh, so you can kind of see the hit as well. Let's see, right, boom. Did I pause that? Yeah, right there, it takes the hit. Ball is delivered though, so tougher pass than what it probably looks like. Uh, but another good example of, uh, of Bennett taking a hit and delivering a ball for a touchdown. So again, just five plays of Stetson Bennett. But I thought he played a really, really good game and showcased his arm strength, showcased his toughness, and showcased his ability to maneuver in the pocket whenever he needed to. There are some scrambles he had in the game that we did not show, but again, just a good overall game. So I imagine Georgia fans are feeling a bit more um, encouraged as they head to face Alabama in the, in the national championship. But again, just want to give Bennett some credit here because he played a really, really good game. But I want to hear from you. What do you think about Stetson Bennett's performance? And how do you feel about him moving forward as they get ready to play Alabama in the national championship? Let us know in the comments below. Again, if you like this video or like quarterback breakdowns, just consider subscribing to the channel or liking it, all that YouTube stuff. It really does help us. And we'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video.